You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. I'm gonna to head to the gym, I want a good pump. What do you recommend? I'd recommend Hercules Potion for sure, right off the bat. The glutamine, arginine, lysine, L-citrulline, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine are gonna do the best. But for the pump, arginine, L-citrulline, injectable, and it's nothing compared to an oral, because a lot of people say, I can take this in a supplement orally, it's not gonna get broken down by the gastro tract, it's gonna go directly into the bloodstream, and you can instantly inject it into the muscle that you're gonna be working out that day for more instant gratification. Maintaining good health is not only about having a good physique and appearance, it's about being optimal from the inside out. Titan Medical Center can help you achieve your health and fitness goals, from medical services to customized therapies, apparel, and much more. For more information, call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Are you ready to dial in on what's going on inside your body? Well, the only true way is to blood test. That's right. Blood work shows everything. What's going on with your vital organs, what's going on in your hormones, sugar levels, and so on. It's so important to check. And not that many people do it. I hear people all the time tell me, I haven't been to the doctor in five years, 10 years. Well, that's not something to be proud of. You wanna make sure that you're checking everything that's going on inside your body make sure it's optimal and make sure it's on the right track so you're healthy even if you're doing your own thing supplement wise you still want to make sure you know what's going on so you're on the right track to get healthier and to get better get those true results that you're really yearning for so if you're ready to find out what's going on inside your body so you can make the optimal educated decision about what to do with it then you need to call or text us at 727 389-3220. We make it very simple and very easy to go anywhere in the country to get blood work through Titan Medical Center. So don't delay. It's your health. It's your life. Don't you want the best for yourself? Contact us today. How's it going? My name is Jason Salinas. I'm the owner of SMB Elite Fitness in Roseville, California. Uh, I've been a trainer for over 20 years, love and passion for working out. And uh, one thing that I took into consideration in my early 30s was getting my blood levels checked and seeing how my hormone levels were. Uh, I worked with a physician out there in Roseville, California for probably about six years, referring all my clients to him. Uh, I definitely believe it's important to not only do an external evaluation with somebody, but also an internal evaluation as well. And uh, helped him build his practice to the point where it was a seven month waiting list. And so I started uh, following Titan Medical Group on Instagram, watching what John and Sharice were doing. And I was really excited at the different uh, therapies they offered other than just TRT. And so I reached out to John and uh, basically got connected with them, got my blood work done, and I uh, was excited to try some new things. I've actually worked with Titan Complete as a staple, uh, Hercules Potion, Glutathione, all basic staples. I've been t doing TRT with them. They have me in getting my blood work done every six months, making sure I'm in line with everything else. And uh, it's, it's been great. I feel incredible. I'm actually competing at 47 years old, looking better than I did at 25 years old. And I feel kind of like Benjamin Button. Uh, I've referred, referred a handful of clients from Northern California here. And it's been super convenient because they've been able to actually Skype with the physicians. Staff has been incredible uh, getting back to clients and answering questions. Customer service has been incredible. Uh, I get notified probably about the third week of every month just to check on me, see how I'm doing, and uh, seeing if I'm going to update my current status or add or change or adjust anything with my program. Um, not only has the customer service been incredible for me, but I like working with my clients and type medical as well. And so 
anytime my clients come to me with issues in regards to how they feel, I get a hold of Titan Medical. And if not, the front desk uh, or the assistant, Sharice, is even herself, one of the owners, been on the phone with them, making sure they get everything cleared for our people. So we appreciate and love uh, everything you guys do for us, and we're very grateful. And uh, it's been just a great fit. I've basically kind of been there, became their NorCal rep, I like to say. And I've uh, just been, been excited to be a part of the family. Been with Titan Medical now for just about six years and um, definitely believe in everything they do. And it's and super excited that they're always on the cutting edge of every new therapy uh, or peptide that comes out. So definitely, if you haven't got with them, get, get a hold. Hello everyone, my name is John. I'm the owner of Type Medical Center. And today I want to do a tutorial video for you guys. Um, I know there's been a lot of questions from patients calling in, um, having issues with drawing the last bit of medication that they need out of their vial, right? And who wants to lose out of medication? Not me, paid a lot for it. and want to get everything that's in that vial, trust me. So there's a couple of tips I'm gonna go over with you guys to help you get that little bit of medication out of the vial. Especially when we're talking about like semi-glutide or terzepatide, where only a little bit goes a long way. So you wanna make sure that you get every dose out of your vial that you possibly can, right? So we're gonna go over two different vials today. One, I have just a regular bacterial static vial, and you're not gonna to have to really worry about this, but the reason I picked this is because it's clear and you guys can see transparently through. The next one is gonna be real usage, semi-glutide. So with this, there's only a little bit left, and it's in an amber vial. So at that point, we're not gonna be able to see through this as much, but you will be able to see through so we can see what we're doing here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull with insulin needle. You're gonna grab the vial. And usually people will flip it upside down and some people are going from the bottom. The best bet is is turn to the side. That way you can see it directly go inside, center of the cap. And the biggest mistake people make at that point is, is they put the needle all the way in, okay? Now if I try to pull this liquid, it might not pull that much, right? Because as you're pulling the liquid, the liquid's going down, and now your needle's on top of the liquid or where it's at. So you drew a little bit, but you didn't get all of it because now it's all air. So with that, what you wanna do is, is if you're having problems like that, take the needle down just a little bit, about halfway where it was, and now you can draw the rest of it in there. Real simple, real easy you make sure that you get all the medication that was provided to you. All right, next is real world use here. So semi-glutide, there's a lot of patients that take semi-glutide and cure zepatide. But a lot of people complain about not being able to get that last little bit. And that last little bit might be one or two weeks worth of medication for you. So it's important to get. So at that point, what we wanna do is, is we can go to the side again, and we can pull that medication going halfway right at the beginning. You see how it's drawing in. Halfway with the needle, right? That way you can get all your medication that you need. So that's another tutorial from us at Titan Medical Center to you guys to show you how to draw all your medication out of your vial properly. Make sure you get all those doses for you and for your results. I hope this helps. I'll be making more tutorial videos for you guys in the future. So just look for those things. I appreciate it and I hope your therapies at Titan Medical Center are going well. What up guys, John here from Titan Medical Center and today I wanna to answer a commonly asked question to me and the answer to you guys. This gets asked all the time. Should I take ATG or enclomiphene with my testosterone replacement therapy? And the answer is, if you wanna be optimal, if you want all the best, without any of the negative side effects, then yes, that is your answer, 100%. And the reason is, so you guys know this, is when you take testosterone from an outside source, whether it's sublingual, it's a pellet, it's an injection, it's cream, whatever it is, your body is one of the smartest machines out there, and it picks up on this. And your brain picks up on it, and it says, hey, listen, we already have an outside source of testosterone, we have testosterone in the body. There's a signal that goes from your brain down to your testicles and your testicles are what produces your testosterone and semen. So at that point, that signal gets shut down. The brain tells it, hey, listen, go on vacation. We already got what we need. Don't worry about it. What happens at that point? Now your testicles start shriveling. They start shrinking. We call it here like baby prunes, right? 
And at that point, your semen production also gets shut down or lowered and testosterone naturally gets cut off. So when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, you don't want any of these negative side effects. And the most common response is, oh, I'm all right, I don't need any more kids. It's not just about fertility. We talk about aesthetics, we talk about tightness, comfortability. That's what you really want with this. And like I said, all the benefits with any of the negative side effects. It will also complement your TRT program. It will make you feel better. It will help you in a number of different ways. So don't shy away from it, embrace it. And that way you'll get all the results and feel the best you possibly can. Trust me, I've been on this program myself for 12 years and it's done nothing but great effects for me all the way through and through. I look better now than I did when I started the company 12 years ago. That's saying something, right? So if you guys got any other questions about this or you want to talk about different therapies that might help you, you need to contact us today. Just call or text us at 727-389-3220 and I'll be back with more answers to your guys' commonly asked questions so you guys get some great information and great knowledge for yourselves. Hormones do play a very vital role throughout the body. They act on a lot of different receptors to warrant specific mechanisms throughout the body. Um, and if there is a disruption or an imbalance there, it can cause a lot of different symptoms, um, which would be varied depending on which organ of the endocrine system is being affected. So anything from libido changes, mental cognition, focus, clarity, temperature regulation in the body, fat loss, to name a few. Today is your day. Get started on your journey towards a healthy lifestyle with Titan Medical Center. Our medical services and customized therapies have helped patients for over a decade nationwide. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and start living the Titan lifestyle today. So those old sayings that the old timers used to tell you, and you just used to push it off, well, I found out they're all true, except for one. I'll sleep when I die. Man, this was my motto in my 20s and 30s. I used to rock and roll and burn the candle at both ends at all times. But I found out in my 40s, I was doing myself a real disservice. And this is because sleep is so essential for so many different things in your body. From your mental clarity, to your energy, to protecting your brain from neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or dementia, sleep is one of the most important things to get you on track and to keep you on track and to keep you healthy. So get the proper rest. And if you're not getting the proper rest, we have different Titan therapies here like Titan Serenity or any of our GHRH therapy peptides that can help you get that sleep back on track and start getting that deep sleep to help revitalize, rejuvenate, and repair your body. So if you're having sleep problems and you want help, we can help you at Titan Medical Center. Just call or text us, 727-389-3220. We'll wait to hear from you to get you better sleep. Don't accept an alternative. Don't accept a substitute. Come to the real deal. Titan Medical Center is here for you to make you feel better, look better, and perform better every single day. So call or text us to get started on your new quality of life. What's up guys, John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things are going to help you guys in your relationship now or maybe that future relationship you're going to have. So we like to come up with a couple different topics every week that will definitely benefit you guys in a lot of different ways when it comes to your relationship and personal growth. Mm -hmm. So this week, you know, we were thinking about, you know, different <laughs> topics, what we're going to do, kind of going back one. and forth, you know, and you're like... <laughs> You know, I started thinking, I'm like, you know, you don't want to set boundaries, right? Boundaries for work and work hours and all this different stuff, especially with the way COVID is and a lot of people working from home. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all together, but they're not really together. And, you know, this is something that is talked about and you guys should definitely do. And I think that we should do, but 
we don't fit the bill on this this aspect, right? It's yeah, just, so John was saying, he was like, okay, so you want to bring up a topic, right? And, but we, because he brought it up, I'm like, that's a great topic. I mean, everybody should do that. Absolutely. But it's kind of like us telling you guys, because I, listen, I can't lie, right? I, I'm a very straightforward person. No hypocrites. Yes. So we don't do this, but do I think a successful relationship should probably do this? Yeah. I certainly do. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a it's a little bit different in our aspect and, and what we do um, to the normal couple that's usually out there. Usually, you know, they're working their job and they're into that job or whatever it is, and they're usually not working together. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so they have very different workspaces or different problems going on there, and it might flow into the night or later on and people might be thinking about it and you know they just don't know or they're stressed about crack it crack open their laptops you, you know, know they're, they're stressed about the the project they're on or, or doing whatever job they need to get done uh, so their boss doesn't ride them or, or get on them for that or fire them <laughs> so you know with us it's like listen we work together so we do the exact same thing so when we talk about things after hours and there is no shutting down for us you know that's a, another thing of being a business owner there's no there's no clocking clock in, out. Clock in, clock out. There's no, there's no clock in, clock no out. No time card like, for us. There's no time card as far as that goes. So, yeah. you know, even for us, like, we have to set those times, like, you know, we're, we're not going to get into anything work-wise or try not to talk about it. You know, as easy as it sounds. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It, it really is. It's you, hard. You know, you think about something that. You just, don't want to forget. That pops up, right? You're like, oh, man, like, I got to say this now or whatever because. I might forget or I might just pass <laughs> over and it might have been something really good or something important. So, um, or something that's, you know, that's, that's like on high alert that we need to take care of right away. Right. So that, that's just a little difference with us, but you know, even with us, you got to shut it down sometimes Some have that, point. that, you know, so you get back to normalcy. Right. And this is another thing where COVID has disrupted normalcy in people's lives things they used to do on a, on a normal basis, normal mm -hmm. habits out there, you know, enjoying themselves, going on romantic dates in all different aspects, whether mm -hmm. it be the movie theater, which is... Uh, that's I, our favorite place. Uh, that's our favorite place, but it hasn't came back yet all the I way. Know. Like, you know, like, there's not being movies released every weekend. There's a couple <laughs> new ones out there that I definitely want to go see. Yeah, let's go. You know, like, one or two, like, I think they're... Released, <laughs> but, let's go this weekend. Uh, <laughs> Let's go right now. So, you know, so you guys should get back to normalcy, you know, set those times for, for those periods, you know, uh, where you have romantic time or normalcy time, per se, where you guys just are enjoying each other. Yeah, because, I mean, listen, it's so easy because everything's on your phone now, right? Right. I mean, you don't even need a laptop. You can literally just have – my entire business is on my phone, right? Yeah. I got all the emails set up, all the text messages, every single app I need to be able to just operate. So just so easy to just grab the phone and you're in bed, right? Say you guys are laying next to each other. Yeah. Like, oh, let me just answer this one email real quick. Yeah. Oh, let me just do this one response real quick. Oh, let me do a couple of just text messages. Next thing you look at the time – and you know you look over and it's like <sighs> done sleeping Happens. no 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 intimate time nope. no no hanging out watching it like a, a, some tv you nope. know just laughing about something <laughs> sharing a moment you know none of that because nope. there's not now they're sleeping nope. because you were too busy on your phone so i mean this is important to be able to differentiate the time frames and it's not just at night my big one a big one and and you know john has worked on this for many many years is having that phone or having anything during like the time we eat yep. like that is a huge thing to me i don't know if it's just because i grew up that way you know during that time frame that was just an untouchable time frame you couldn't do anything else in that time frame but just be with one another and talk to each other while you you know basically break bread you know so you know it's important that you're not like on your phone and now we got you know me and peter we're talking about our day and he's missing it you know, but he's come a long way in this because you used to do it all the time. Used to work. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, I, but at the end of the day, here's here's where it comes into play. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, it's like 15 minutes. It's 15 or 20 minutes. Just put it down for two seconds. No one cares. Okay, for 15 minutes, and you know, enjoy the time because that time goes by so quick, guys. It does go you by. You know, quick. like you got to understand, like you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. The next hour is never guaranteed. You know, we had one of our good friends pass away, yes. you know, um, yes. recently. So it's like, you just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So you got to have that time with your significant other, kids, whatever it might be, you know, parents, whatever. But 
make sure that you allocate something, some sort of time frame in there, you know. For us specifically over the years, I've tried to really just wind down around, you know, eight o'clock because I used to just I used to just go until like one AM, two AM. You know, then I got COVID. That made me sick and it made me force me to stop and realize what's going on. And this is one of the things I came to realize <laughs> that I need to slow down. So, you know, like it's different with us working together. But if you don't work together, like your significant other might have animosity towards this after a certain period of time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, why are you always doing this? Why can't you spend time with us? And mm -hmm. then, listen, I know the, the devil's advocate to that. And mm -hmm. listen, like I said, I'm working, you know, I'm trying to, you know, Earn, earn a living and bring money into the household <laughs> and all that. So it's really a, a double-edged sword there, but you got to find that balance, um, especially with your significant other and if your family, if you have a family out there. And you don't so realize it too, though. You don't know. You, you really don't because you just, you know, if you're just going, 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 you may not realize it. So take this show, this episode, to really pick it out of your day and realize that you're doing it. And yeah. You know? Yeah. Because you don't. It's just, be aware. Be it's, aware. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard looking from the outside in from at yourself, I guess. But but yeah. take that look. Um, but sure. it will definitely help you guys out relationship too, especially if you tell your partner, listen, we're gonna spend this this time together. Like you know, and like block off the time, whatever it is. You know, put the phone on. You know, do, do not disturb for a little bit or whatever it is. That's so tough. you're not looking at it. You yeah. know, because it's it's it is like an addiction. Like you have the phone, you have it in your hands. Ding. We're all used to it. <laughs> you know, going back to the story where uh, Sharice was talking about, you know, us not using the phone at the dinner table. You know, it's funny because when we were talking about growing up, right? We didn't have cell phones like that, or we did, but it wasn't in use the way it is now. But it was. Hey, listen, your friend's calling on the phone. Tell your friend not to be calling during dinner. This is yeah, dinner time. Yeah, I remember that. Right? Yep. Because it was a cell phone. So, you know, so it was on the, on the actual it. house That's phone. It. Tell him you'll call him after dinner. He'll call you after dinner. You know, <laughs> it, it is what it is. So we've come a long it's way. It's come a long way. It's come a long way. You know, technology is obviously a blessing, but, it, you know, it, it should be used in the right ways because it could be a curse, too, in this light of technology. You know, people are glued to their phones, mm -hmm. whether you're a 12-year-old or 11-year-old like our son or... You know, 50. you're a 40 year old like me or older guy, 50, whatever it is. It just, it just, it's crazy. So at that point, listen, guys, get off the cell phones, yep. get away from the distractions. Another one is joint distractions. And they asked me for this. What is joint distractions? What does that mean? So joint distraction <laughs> is, is you guys are sitting on a couch together and you guys are watching a movie together, which is awesome, right? It's bonding time, you'd think. Or you guys are both scrolling on your cell phones or your iPads, your tablets. So I got something. So we, you know what you do. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what you do. What? Yeah, you know what you do because it's great. So if you guys are watching this movie together, and let's just say like you know, if both of you guys are on your phones, I mean you can stop. But I'm saying if one of them's on the phone, you can just be like, hey, did you see that funny part? <laughs> and then he'll be like, uh, like, did you need me to rewind it? It's fun. That's that's <laughs> one thing. Or you guys, I mean, you guys can be talking about what's going on in the movie really lightly. Don't be that person that just talks about everything that's going on in the movie. <laughs> Unless your partner knows you and likes you for that. That could be a, a little quirk. That's me, true. For me, I, I I wouldn't like that. But no, we do wouldn't. have a little conversation within the movie like, oh, my God, I can't believe this or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, and do always laugh about it or whatever. Now, that's Bonnie. You know, you yeah. guys are talking. You guys are interacting about the similar thing that you guys are watching. So that's just another thing I guess you guys can do. But listen, get back to normalcy. You know, some states are taking back restrictions. Florida is pretty much one of the open, most open states there is out there yeah. still to this day. So at that point, you guys can do some of this cool stuff that's out there. You know, even in Tampa, I mean, they have the little robo scooters or whatever. You guys can go scootering around the electronic scooters or, you know, you guys can go check out like Riverwalk. I mean, in Florida, there mm -hmm. is so many different places There's a lot. Um, that you can go, whether it's the different beaches or the new pier in St. Pete or whatever it is, you know, I mean, it doesn't cost a lot of money or it might not cost you any money at all just to do. So at that point, that will definitely open up hopefully new doors for you guys, new experiences for you guys, which will increase the love that you guys have for each other. Well, you know, it's just funny you bring this up too, because, you know, I won't say who it is, obviously, mm. but we have a good friend of ours that's now currently going through a divorce. Boo. Um, but they were only Divorce. married, Boo. right, for a year. And I guess, like, right after, and they were together two years prior to that. So but I guess three years in. So I guess right after they got married, they stopped dating. Like, you can't stop dating each other. No. Like, it's so important. And we'll save that for another, you know, episode. But 
it's important. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, because what are you saying right now? Like going to do whatever together, going to do dinner together, going to do scooters together, going to do something together. Get back those things that you guys like you're, to do you're, together. You're dating. You know, yeah. like it's a date. Like just set, even if it's once a week, set a date. You know, me and John have been super slammed with events lately. Like oh. super, super slammed. And, and work. We're, and we're all like, you know, it, so and if we're kids. not working or around Peter, we're around like 500 other people. So we're not really ever around like just each other. And, and honestly, this week even, I was like, huh. You know, maybe it's just we should just go to dinner, just me and him, you know, and just go to dinner and just have dinner, just me and him. So and that was something I didn't, you know, obviously voice to you just yet. But, you know, maybe we should go to dinner tomorrow. That'd be great. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> it's important to continue dating. It is. It's important. It's your time. It's your time. It's up your time. It's set that time apart because it is important. And when you have that time, make sure you guys are focused on what you guys should be focused on. Yeah, don't be on your phone. Your partner. Don't right? be on your phone. And, and having a fun time and enjoying each other's company. If you guys aren't at that level, you guys need to work to get back at that level. Mm -hmm. You know, some couples, they, they go on dates and they have nothing to talk about anymore. I know. It's like, like, what do you, how does that happen? You know, obviously you guys had some common ground in the beginning. You know, and then some people, they grow apart. Now, that's because, what, they're not sharing experiences with each other, they're not communicating, mm -hmm. you know, one's mad at each other, you know, for something. You know, there's something that's that's there, um, and it's causing problems or friction between you guys, and you guys try to alleviate that problem. Mm -hmm. You know, talk about it. Communication. Last communication. one. We always talk about communication. it. Communication. So. Need um, that communication. That's what you guys should definitely, that's the alpha and the omega, the start, the, the beginning and the end. It's all about communication. Mm -hmm. No matter what part of the relationship you're in, and don't become complacent, like she said. Mm -hmm. you know, that's 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 a downer for both sides, I think. Like, who wants to be stuck in a relationship where it's like, blah? Like, it's it's so easy to get caught in the routines of yeah. daily life. Like, you're like, all right, you know, we get up, we work, or like, uh, get up, get the kid ready, get him breakfast, take him to school, <laughs> come back, get ready, right? Work. Work all day. Work you more. Know, come home. Feed and work the kid. More. Talk a little bit. You know, try to work out. Go then to go to sleep. sleep. Get up. Do, do it, it again. again. <laughs> like that's a routine. And listen, that's healthy to do. And that's that's really where you find the most productivity is when you get in that routine and you really, you know, you're hitting every every aspect or every timeline that you're supposed to be doing with time management. But that could be uh that could be a down on the relationship. So if you do do that and you want to get, you know, you're so structured and you're so OCD where I need these blocks of time, I need this, you better schedule in the time for your partner. Yeah. It's what it is. For sure. So at that point, you're good and you can still stay in that routine. And at that point, you guys have some time together and you guys can enjoy each other. And you guys both aren't going to be growing apart but growing together in the same aspect. Just a tip for you guys. So at the, you know, I got to throw a tip in there somewhere. If you guys are at dinner and your significant other is on their phone, all you have to say is, who are you talking to? And then, you know, then they'll say who it is. And it doesn't have to, you know, it'll be anybody, right? And then you'll be like, and I've said it before, you know, I'm like, that's that's not that important right now. And then, you know, then it, it'll force them to put their phone away. And eventually, if they respect you enough and they like to spend time with you, then whenever you guys eventually start going to dinner, you know, occasionally, they just won't do it. It just it becomes it becomes a thing where you just don't do it. Mm -hmm. It is easy to do because it's like sitting there vibrating. Just don't do it. You got to think about it, though. You got to really think about it. I guess you do. <laughs> you do. It's like anything else. <laughs> anyway, guys, so <laughs> these are just some tips and tricks from me and Charisse. And, you know, like I said, we don't want to be hypocrites about it, but definitely set time uh, when you're not working and stuff. Just set some time for you and your partner to enjoy each other. All right, guys, we'll see you back next Sunday, 11 a.m. for Cupid's Corner and every Sunday after that. And if you guys missed the show, you guys want to check out the show, check out our YouTube. Go there. Subscribe, hit the all notifications, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. See you then.